My dear students, I was going through the last year's orthopedic questions and I could see that there are so many questions asked on bone tumors. And questions like, say, the sundry appearance of the bone is seen in which metaphysical bone tumor? So we have multiple options given and one would be the correct answer, naturally. So, as far as the appearance of the bone tumors is concerned, we have to know that these bone tumors have got characteristic appearances and I will just be going through some of the important associations. Now, we have this Ewing sarcoma and in Ewing sarcoma, we just have this characteristically onion sickening of the bone tumors, very frequently asked. Then we have this osteosarcoma, which is associated with characteristically sundry appearance of the bone. This osteosarcoma is also associated with most frequently asked cordman's triangle appearance. Then we have got this fibrous dysplasia which is characterized by ground glass appearance of the bone. Then we have got this rare malignant bone tumor, the adamantinoma, which is characterized by honeycombing of the bone. Then we have got the characteristic soap bubble appearance in case of GCT genital tumor or osteoclastoma. Now my today's focus would be going back to the question which I told you at the initiation and the metaphysial bone tumor. Now we have got these metaphysial bone tumors osteochondroma, osteoblastoma and osteosarcoma. All the three of them happen to be metaphysial bone tumors. Now what is important about osteosarcoma? We would be taking that in a bit of a detail. So as far as this osteosarcoma is concerned, you have to remember that osteosarcoma can be having certain associations and the very important associations of osteosarcoma happen to be one, reformance syndrome. Number two, the retinoblastoma. Number three, the Wormer syndrome. And number four, the Paget's disease. These are some of the more characteristic features with which osteosarcomas are associated. Although fibrous dysplasia, the genital tumor can also transform itself into osteosarcoma. Now, as I mentioned at the onset of the class, this osteosarcoma happens to be a metaphysial bone tumor. And what is important is that it is common around the knee joint. The lower end of femur happens to be the most common site of osteosarcoma. In addition to bone pain, it can present usually with metastasis and the metastasis would be pulmonary in the lungs. There is one characteristic feature associated with osteosarcoma and that is it is also called as the pulsating bone tumor. So you have to remember these important associations. Now coming back to the question it is asked the sundry appearance of the bone and the cordman's triangle. These are very, very frequently asked. And let me tell you, you have to understand pathology. Basically, being a metaphysical tumor, there is this irregular destruction of the metaphysis by the tumor cells. And there is diffuse destruction of the metaphysical bone. And now, what happens after that? There is this erosion of the cortex. The cortex of the bone gets eroded and there is subsequent new periosteal reaction. And there is a triangular area formed with this similar type of a reaction which we give the name as Cordman's triangle. Now, coming to the second point, what is the sundry appearance of the bone? The sundry appearance of the bone is that the tumor spreads into the surrounding soft tissues and the tumor cells infiltrate the surrounding soft tissues and what happens after that? There is periosteal bone formation along the new invasion and that happens that the tumor spreads centrifugally and it gives the characteristic sun ray appears as if the rays of the sun are directed in all the directions and that is what we give as the typical typical name 
as the sunburst or the sun ray appearance of this tumor. Now, osteosarcoma is basically treated by preoperative chemotherapy followed by surgery. That ha happens to be a very effective modality of treatment for this bony tumor. So, you have to remember these points, these associations, and I hope it will be helping you along the way in your preparation for orthopedics. Thanks a lot.